Hi and welcome or welcome back to my little film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. We're over to the world of Netflix today. And I think this has been available on other streaming sites for three or four months at least, uh, if not five or six months. I want to look over to South Korea. So we're going to a do I watched it on dubbed uh, version. We watched the dubbed version of this. I didn't watch it in subtitles. And we're going to have a look at uh, a series, 12 episode series, All of Us are dead yes 15 certificate of horror fantasy drama action yes but the zombies are back guys we've got another zombie genre thing uh, to watch as at the 50 july 2022 internet movie database quite like it that's joe public 7.5 out of 10 that's not bad Eleven thousand six hundred thirteen people scored it 10 out of 10 <laughs> i'm not having that and just 1064 scored it one out of 10 which i'm not having that either in all fairness so if you take all those out it's still quite positive yeah twenty-eight thousand two hundred seventeen people voted it between six and nine and just 3,217 people voted it between two and five. So a 90% positivity. So looks very, very good. Rotten Tomatoes audience, they're positive as well. 79% positivity. It's a coming-of-age zombie apocalypse horror streaming television series. That's what they class it as in Korea or uh, versions. And it stars various uh, Korean actors I'm not too familiar with, I don't think. Uh, Park ji Hu, Yoon chan Young. Cho Yi Hun, Lomon Yu and Su, Lee Yu Mi, Kim Byung Chul, Lee Kyu Hyung, and John Bao Su. There you go. So <laughs> lots more as well. And I sort of half, half of them are probably dead by the end of the series. I'm not too sure. I don't know which is which. Uh, what's it about? Well, it's about. Yeah, it's, it's the story behind the zombie infestation. It's a failed scientific experiment. A local high school is overrun. He's the guy who's responsible. He's overrun with zombies. And the trapped students struggle to survive. Yeah, that's main the main jank of it. It's what, 70, 80-odd percent of it is all about the kids trying to survive in the school. And then it gets out and about, of course, as the thing goes on. With no food or water and communication cut off by the government, they must use equipment around the school to protect themselves in the midst of a battleground or they will become part of the infected, of course, and many, many will, many do. This is based on Naver Webtoon, now at our school by Ju Dong Wen, which was published between 2009 and 2011. So if you're familiar with that, that's what it's based on. It was released on Jan end of January, yeah, on Netflix, January 28th, 2022, although... I either missed it or didn't notice it because, uh, yeah, I quite got into it quite early. On June the 6th, 2022, the series was renewed for a second season. So, yeah, not the greatest cliffhanger at the end of it for a second season. But, yeah, we, we can see, I can see the thing progressing. Critics, what the critics think. We've seen what the public thought. They were quite positive. Rotten Tomatoes uh, approval rating, so your positivity rating, if you like, 83%. That's based on 23 reviews. All these scores are at the 5th of July 2022. An average rating of 6.9 out of 10, so that's not half bad. And the site's critical consensus says, while all of us are dead, loses some of its bite with an overlong season. I have to agree with that. Its emotional grounding puts plenty of meat on the bone. Yeah, twelve episodes. This is twelve episodes by about an hour. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not even twelve times forty-four minutes or twelve times thirty minutes. Uh, yeah, if they stuck it in between six and eight, it would have been a lot tighter and probably certainly would have scored more from me than it did. Caroline Frankie from Variety said, "Like Squid Games, what a great series that was." Before it, all of all of us are dead. Makes the most out of its nightmarish central location to otherworldly dizzying effects. Yeah. Not, it's not a patch on Squid Games. It's not that that is standout, isn't it? And it's obviously we've had lots of different previous features in this genre. I mean, obviously we've had Korean films in this genre, of course. So this, so this is not bad. It's not bad. I wouldn't be as enthused though as uh, Caroline there in that little uh, critique. Nick Shager of the Daily Beast said this twelve-part Korean Netflix series about zombies invading a high school. Is, well, they don't invade it; they're already there. Uh, they create it. Is gruesome, thrilling, and highly addictive. Yeah, okay, not on a, not on a par addictiveness with the rest. It's it's, say, it's certainly interesting at times, but yeah, it's, well, addictive. Possibly not as much as some others. 
Megan Navarro, bloody disgusting, says the series ultimately bites off more than it can chew in themes, characters and ambition. Yeah, well, this is where we're coming down on it. I say 12 episodes for what we get. It's just a little bit too many. And I think it aims higher for what you actually get. I think, I say, it doesn't quite fill that time in. I think, I think yes, you, you've got to do 12 episodes. There's in, probably enough there, but it just... It just Repetition. There is repetition. I think one of the critics say, or I've, I've read it anyway, that there is a bit of re repetition in this, which is, is a bit wearing as, as the thing drags on. Metacritic, the other critics say, a weighted average of 67 out of 100, so still very good. That's based on just five reviews, or three, three positive and two mixed, so no negatives. And it scored anywhere between 50 and an 8 and 80 with the five guys. And the low, one of the lowest was Steve Green from IndieWire. He bit 58 and said, there are faint glimmers of a leaner, more confident show that peeped through. Yeah, back to the show. It could have been six or eight episodes. But a show with nearly a 12-hour running time, yeah. No, there aren't nearly enough to break familiar stories and repetitive cycle. Yeah, there we go. There's the word repetition. Yeah, we did, we did need more from this. San Francisco Chronicles, Chris Wagner, he gave it 75. He liked it a lot. All of us are dead. It's nothing if not self-aware. It's also quite well executed, even when it feels more like an exercise than an organic creation. Yeah, it is a long exercise as well. Right, on to my thoughts. As I say, I'll give most my critique there in answer to others. But, uh, yeah, the dub, dub is excellent. I, I, I must admit, you know, it can be a bit of a mess, but I think the dub is excellent. I'm sure the actors in the original South Korean are excellent as well. I just get that vibe. You can get a vibe from actors just from the way they act on screen. I think uh, I think they do a pretty good job, the originals and, and the dubbing as well. He does throw a lot of characters at you, uh, and he does take time to get invested in some that do last a bit longer. Uh, quickly weeds out a lot, having said that, you know, obviously, and some of the ones I liked are off or got rid of very quickly, so perhaps I should pick my friends a bit, bit better because uh, most of the ones I thought, oh, he's all right, or she's all right, <laughs> get killed with a, a, an episode or two, but hey. Just my luck. Uh, don't make friends with me, guys. Uh, as stated, yeah, 12 episodes, definitely too long. But not, not a bad entry, not a, another reasonable entry into the zombie market from South Korea. There's been one or two over the past, certainly films that have been stand out. And this is OK. This this is fine. As I say, I, I, I do I do love a good zombie film. There's a lot of zombie films, zombie series, and there's a lot about. And I, I watch them all. I do enjoy them all to some extent, some more than others. And this is OK. This is this is an OK addition. As I said, it been it been cut down a little bit, six to eight episodes. It might have... Uh, gleaned a little bit of a better mark from me but definitely watchable perhaps a struggle as a binge watch it took me about four days i watched it in four segments i think uh, as i say it did take a while i couldn't have binge watched it over a couple of nights or something like that six hours a night oh, well, well, who's got that time anyway but uh, yeah probably better watched in little two or three hour increments if you can if you enjoy it, of course. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, which is my watchable score. Let me know what you think, guys, if you get to watch this. I think it's an okay addition. And it's nice to see uh, the kids trying to, well, do better than the adults, perhaps, in this. And that's what it is, obviously, kids. I mean, they're obviously about 16, 18, 19, from, from what I can see or what I can garner from, from the programme. But uh, from, uh, I don't know how, how old kids are in Japanese high schools or whatever sort of school it is. But, uh, yeah, very good, very good. Uh, a very good zombie edition, uh, and but six out of ten, say very, very watchable for me. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Please, until we meet again, no, that's one thing, no, please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.